Hey everyone, happy Sunday and welcome back to Organic by The Penny. This is a channel where we talk about organic products, their price, ingredients, and if I think they're worth the money. Today we're going to be talking about two products from Burt's Bees. This can be kind of an expensive brand and that's why I really wanted to cover these products because I think I went out on a limb purchasing one of them. Um, so let's just dive right in. We're going to be covering the Burt's Bees Brightening Eye Treatment. Here's what it looks like. When you pull off the cap, you have a nice little pointed applicator. And per the instructions, what you're gonna do is you're going to put tiny dots on the areas of your eye that have dark marks, fine lines, or wrinkles. And I am almost out of this. I've had this tube for a year now, so it has lasted me quite some time. You're not using a lot of this. Okay, so I gently tap into the pores. Sometimes I go right over the eyelid. There's no stinging, no burning with this product. And then I start to rub, rub, rub. Just to give you guys a price point, this tube was $20. Once again, I understand that can be pricey but instantly especially on the eye i just did i'm feeling the firming and tightening of my skin i mean it is instant i love it i mean this is just a daily product that i really enjoy using and it works instantly if you want instant results this is the product for you it's 99 percent natural 20 dollars has lasted me a year so Overall, I would recommend this product to people looking for instant results, um, getting rid of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots under their eyes. However, 1% of the ingredients are going to be those ingredients that we typically try to steer away from, uh, preservatives, additives, and some alcohols, but 99% is natural. Sweet! So now that I have brighter eyes, less wrinkles, we're going to go in with uh, the Burt's Bees Lip Gloss. And you can see they did a cute little job on putting a honeycomb here on the lid. Okay, so the applicator tip is slanted for easy application, and I'm going to put it on for you. This is in the shade Spring Splendor. As you can see, it kind of takes a lot of product to cover my lips because they're kind of full. Okay, so my number one complaint already with this product is that <laughs> it's so thick. Um, the ingredients are very wax-based or thick-based, and that explains the texture. I'm almost tripping over <laughs> my sentences just because it's just so thick on my lips. My second complaint is that it smells like Play-Doh, which is weird. I feel like if I were to drink my coffee right now, I'd get a little bit of a Play-Doh flavor. The price was $8.99. This was a gift to me, and um, although I like the fact that it's 100% natural and there are no bad ingredients in it, I do not like the texture, and I probably wouldn't spend $8.99 on this product in the future. The color, as you can see, maybe comes out a little bit lighter than what you might expect, but that really just depends on your skin tone. Once again, $8.99 Burt's Bees Lip Gloss. 100% natural. Okay, just before I send you off for the rest of your Sunday, I want to talk about my new feature moving forward, which is going to be my cheap hack of the week. So, this week's cheap hack of the week is combining two of my favorite hobbies, <laughs> bubble baths and drinking wine. So, I love to repurpose things around my home, and what I did was I took a bottle of wine and I put in my Epsom salt that I take baths with, and I put it in this bottle. And it kind of gives my bathroom a beachy vibe. It has that sand-like texture to it. And I don't know, I just think it looks better than the plastic bag that the uh, Epsom salts usually come in. So yeah, and if this is something that you've done already or you do something else that you think is cool with your wine bottles, then you should definitely show me. My Instagram is at organic by the penny. And uh, I would love to see what you do with your wine bottles. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't be a true blogger if I didn't send you off telling you to like, share, subscribe, and follow. Um, once again, my Instagram is at organicbythepenny, and my blog is organicbythepenny.wordpress.com. Make sure to come back next Sunday. We're going to be talking about my favorite bathroom products from bath wash to facial scrub. All right, guys, take care. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.